Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be looking at the little Ishin A6M0 Japanese Warbird. It's a 400mm mini beginner's style plane, fully stabilised, partially stabilised or expert unstabilised modes. Comes in a couple of different versions. There's the usual uh, ready to fly version that comes with transmitter and battery and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but this one is the bind and fly version, which means that uh, I can use my own transmitter to fly the plane, which uh, I much prefer. Of course, it means I have to find out which particular protocol it works on and uh, work out how to program up my radio, but I'll show all of that in the video. Here's the little fella, really good looking little plane. Uh, it looks, so uh, the nose is a little bit longer than a normal zero, I think. Few people have commented on that but they just have to do that to get it to balance properly with a, a lightweight motor but anyway it's a four channel plane has ailerons elevator rudder and motor landing gear that comes off so the protocol it works on is the v761 four channel version these little things are a lot of fun to fly they're not my usual sort of plane uh, but i always do enjoy them when they fly they the stabilization is sort of radical and wiggly but it works it works really well it has a one button aerobatic feature where you push the button then you can flip a roll or flip, flip a loop depending on whether you touch the aileron or the elevator stick also has a one button u-turn or return to home style of uh, function what you do is you activate it with the plane pointing in the takeoff direction fly out hit the button and it'll do a u-turn and come back along the same direction uh, it's not a proper return to home it's just a a u-turn fly back the way it came basically uh, but that's an interesting feature too okay so in the box we get the user manual which is pretty good although most of the radio information relates to the ready to fly version it doesn't tell you which protocol to use you have to go searching for that yourself and luckily other people have already worked this stuff out so i'll show you where to find that information anyway this is the bind and fly three battery version uh, 1s 400 milliamp hour batteries we have one already in there so we've got another two there um, we get at the moment i've got the three bladed prop on there the um, prop has a sort of a uh, safety system where it'll pop off in a crash then you can pop it back on again keep on flying there's a couple of two bladed props there's a spare um, motor side prop saver which is a good idea and the batteries and that's about it I'll show you close-ups of the user manual you can uh, pause and have a closer look if you need to do that in the future if you've lost your manual or you just like reading manuals closer look at the plane we have push rods with u bends in them that means you can adjust them by bending out that u a little bit more if you uh, if you need to do some trim beyond what the radio can do landing gear pops in and out there i don't want to push too hard because that's in sitting in there nicely now battery bay there to find out which protocol the little eSheen zero uses we went to the Banggood website there's the price there for three batteries and bind and fly version uh, down in the comments someone had mentioned it there we go uh, v761 protocol and uh, if we then go to multi-module.org website then we can have a look at all the different protocols that are in the multi-protocol radios and just scroll down until we get to the the v761 page and here we go here's all the details and the gyro minus 100 beginner mode zero mid mode and plus 100 expert mode calibration uh, flip switch and return activation and return so this is the four channel sub protocol channel one aileron two elevator three throttle four 
rudder and if we scroll across we've got uh, gyro channel 5 calibration channel 6 flip on channel 7 return activation channel 8 and actual return channel 9 now programming up on the radio we start off with a new model uh, which i've done and i've called it zero and we have to set the internal uh, rf module change it from off to multi choose the v761 protocol or type subtype is the four channel not the three channel so we set up a normal four channel model with aileron elevator throttle and rudder on channels one to four then you'll need a three position mode switch for the gyro so i've chosen channel uh, switch c channel six is calibration so i've chosen the s uh, the six position switch there and I've assigned uh, voice prompts to them all as well, just so I know exactly what I'm doing. Channel seven is the flip, so two position switch, that's the SD for me. And to put it into return mode, uh, or ready to return mode, I've got that on channel eight, that is on channel eight, and the SE switch, and then, and when I actually want it to turn, I've got the SA switch there to activate it. Page across and show you the special functions. So special functions, you choose which switch you want it to play the track on, uh, and then just go scroll through all the available voice prompts to choose the one you want. You don't need this to make it operate. This just makes it easier to uh, remember what switch does what. All right, so let's connect the battery up. Get some wiggles going there. And we can see we have ailerons going the right way, elevator going the right way, and rudder going the right way as well. And also, if we tilt the plane, you can see the ailerons are compensating in the right direction, as in they're, they're making the plane go back to level. Same with the elevator, hope you can see that. So control surfaces are going in the right direction and the compensation is going in the right direction as well. And the motor is revving up, so we're good to go. Let's try throttling up. Yeah, that works. We're ready to go. Time to fly the little Isheen, uh, what is it, the A6M0. Uh, we have too much wind as usual. It's always windy here. We never get really calm days. Uh, but we're going to fly anyway, and we've got nice long grass, so uh, I can crash it as hard as I want, and it's not even going to touch the ground, I don't think. Uh, but anyway, let's go. Starting off in beginner mode. And away she goes, and that is just hanging up in the wind there. Look how stable it is. It's, uh, that's hands off basically, that's just staying there by itself. Alright, I'll do a left turn, push the left aileron around and it just swings around, maintaining altitude too, pretty much. Let go the sticks and it's just going to fly directly over the top of me. Pretty cool. So yeah, it would be easy for a beginner, uh, but it probably wouldn't teach you good flying practices. Uh, but something it would teach you is sort of orientation uh, when it's coming back towards you uh, without crashing it doesn't want to turn very sharply it says we've got uh, 15 minute flying time on each battery they're all fully charged so I'll have a, a decent flight and in the wind <laughs> it's just going to hover above me that's cool I'm just managing the throttle to keep it where it is uh, very cool all right so that's supposed to be beginners mode this is acro mode, gives a little bit more um, control. Go back to beginner's mode. And the 
they seem pretty similar to me. Manual mode. Yeah, well, yeah, well that, that, that'll be a bit hard. Well, I'm out of control. Go back to beginner's mode and that uh, levels out. That's cool. All right, I better bring it down so we can see it. Forcing the nose down. And we're flying again. So there's a bit too much wind for it to fly in manual mode, I think. That would take a bit of practice and, and would need a really calm day. It's handling the wind quite well. It'd be sort of five knots gusts up to ten knots, so it's a, it's a decent wind. It's handling it pretty well. I can't do any rolling takeoffs here, unfortunately. As you can see, there's a uh, metre long grass around me. Probably some snakes too, but anyway, take that risk. Slow fly past, nice and close. How cool is that? Flies remarkably well for a, a little, little, little plane in lots of wind. Let's try the return feature. We'll just hit the return switch. We'll go out there and hit the return switch and see what it does. So that's returning to home. It doesn't know what it's doing. All right, back to beginner mode. Okay, so I haven't really got that worked out yet. I thought you had to put, push the activate switch and then the return switch, but... Um, or maybe I know what you do. You start off. All right, let's try that. Start again. Got to do it on the ground, haven't you? Bring it in. Throttle down. Coast it in. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> what a cute little plane. Okay, so what we'll do, pointing out that way, push the activate switch. Return to home started. Let's fly out that way, get a bit of height. There we go, that's what it's supposed to do. So that works. So you activate the return to home, or do return to home activate on the ground. Oh, I just switched it off there and what happened? Went a bit crazy. So you've got to keep it switched on while you're flying. Okay. Now we've got the flip function, let's try that. No, it doesn't seem to be working. What's going on there? I'll have to think about that. I may have it on the wrong channel. Bring it in and have a look at my radio and just see if I can work out. So that's throttle right off. The motor's still going a little bit, freewheeling, but that's gliding in. Get a throttle, get it back to me. Don't want to have to walk too far. Could easily lose it in this grass. Right at my feet. Wonderful. That's going very well. I'd love to put a camera on it. You could put a little all-in-one FPV camera and video transmitter like the uh, Eshin, what is it, Zero uh, Three or whatever it's called. Some a tiny little package like that, and you'd be able to FPV it. That would be fun. Might do that in the future. But anyway, I'm just going to keep flying for a little while. This is a great little plane. I quite like it. I should have heaps of flying time left. Um, it's going well on the three-bladed prop. I'm using about half throttle. And I should try some full throttle runs and things like that too. Haven't quite worked out all the modes. They don't seem to be changing all that much. I mean, I can change it into manual, but uh, expert, uh, beginner, and sort of mid seem to be about the same to me. Um, but anyway, keep on flying. Fly around in nice tight little circles, just using the aileron for big wide turns or we'll pull a bit of elevator to tighten it up. That's aileron only there, that's the full aileron. I'll show you the combination of elevator and aileron soon. Oh, turbulence, look at that. Okay, aileron plus elevator, you can see how it turns in a lot tighter if it doesn't get blown away. Slow flying in the wind, 
hovering. It's pretty cool. Full throttle. See if we can throw a ah there we go, we threw a threw a roll. A loop that was, sorry. Try another one. Oh yeah, so there is a bit of difference between the beginners and uh, mid mode. This is the mid mode now. And we can throw a roll loop. Oh, I can't get it right in my head. Try again. Try a roll. Oh, maybe it doesn't want to roll. Can do a loop. Yeah, nice tight loop. Try the... No, the uh, flip function doesn't seem to want to work. Stalled a bit there, but it's recovered. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's a fun little plane. Flying in a tight little spot would be great in calm wind. It's a, it's a lot of fun in uh, a little bit of wind too. Whoop, there we go. So there you go. Cool little plane. Wiggly little stabilisation that works very well. I haven't quite worked out the modes on this radio, but uh, I'm sure we will eventually. And uh, well, what I'm going to try is um, put a little all-in-one FPV camera on it. Do we have enough voltage? We probably don't have enough voltage. We'd, we'd need a higher voltage battery. Anyway, something to think about in the future. So there we go, a little Esheen A6M0 400mm uh, ready-to-fly or bind-and-fly options. Um, yeah, fun little plane. Thanks for watching. Oh,